EES, which is pronounced EASE, is an acronym for Engineering Equation Solver. The fluid NH3H2O in EASE provides a model of ammonia water mixtures. In a previous video, we talked about how to use this fluid and specifically focused on the fact that three properties rather than the usual two are required to fix the state. And also that the indicator X equals is associated with the mass fraction of ammonia rather than quality, as is typical. Instead, quality is indicated by the indicator Q equals. Also, there's a new function mass fraction that provides the mass fraction given any three other properties to fix the state. In this video, we're going to use the fluid NH3H2O to simulate an absorption cycle. More information on using ease to simulate absorption cycles of various types can be found in the book Absorption Chillers and Heat Pumps by Harold Rattermacher and Klein. This is a very simple absorption cycle. The generator operates at 90 degrees Celsius and 1.6 megapascals, 50 grams per second of saturated vapor that is nearly pure ammonia is drawn from the generator at state 3 and used in the refrigeration cycle. Uh, so it passes first through the condenser where it is liquefied uh, before passing through the expansion valve and then finally being evaporated in the evaporator and fed to the absorber. The condenser rejects heat to ambient at 25 degrees Celsius and it has an approach temperature difference of 4 degrees Celsius. The evaporator removes heat from a space that's at 5 degrees Celsius and it has an approach temperature difference of 3 degrees Celsius. The absorber operates at 32 degrees Celsius and 400 kilopascals. In order to keep the generator and the absorber at steady state, saturated liquid that is relatively rich in ammonia is pumped from the absorber to the generator using a pump with efficiency of 62%. And then saturated liquid with less ammonia is removed from the generator and expanded through valve 2 uh, back into the absorber. The ease file that simulates this cycle uh, begins by setting the unit system using the dollar unit system directive and then by entering the known information. The flow leaving the generator here at state 3 is at the generator pressure and temperature and its saturated vapor and therefore its state is fixed by P, T, and Q or quality. Here we get the mass fraction and the enthalpy at this state and you'll notice that the mass fraction is 0.9786 so this flow is almost 98% ammonia with very little water in it. The flow passes through the condenser to state 4. We're going to assume that there's no pressure loss in the condenser and a mass balance on ammonia for the condenser requires that the mass fraction of ammonia not change. The temperature leaving the condenser here is fixed by the approach temperature difference of the condenser and therefore state 4 is fixed by P, X for mass fraction and T. Uh, next we'll go through the expansion valve. So downstream of the valve the pressure is going to be equal to the absorber pressure. Uh, mass and energy conservation on the valve will require that the mass fraction and the specific enthalpy don't change as you go from state 4 to 1. And therefore state 1 is fixed by P, X, and H. The flow through the evaporator does not change pressure or mass fraction and the temperature is fixed by the evaporator approach temperature difference. So state 2 is going to be fixed by P, X, and T. The liquid leaving the absorber at state 5 is at the absorber pressure and temperature, and it's saturated liquid. So its state is fixed by T, P, and Q. Uh, this liquid passes through a pump where the pressure is increased to the generator pressure. Uh, the mass fraction across the pump cannot change, and the enthalpy, or the specific enthalpy, is increased across the pump and that enthalpy increase is calculated assuming that the fluid is incompressible and then using the pump efficiency. So the properties of state 6 are obtained from X, P, and H. The liquid leaving the generator at state 7 is at the generator temperature and pressure and it's saturated liquid so its state's going to be fixed by P, T, and Q. Uh, this liquid passes through a valve where it is throttled to the absorber pressure and the mass fraction and the enthalpy can't change as you flow through that valve and therefore its state's going to be fixed by X, P, and H. At this point all the state points have been specified. Uh, energy balances on the condenser and the evaporator can be used to determine the heat rejection and the refrigeration res effect respectively. So you can see here that this cycle produces 48 kilowatts of refrigeration or 13.6 tons. 
uh, an ammonia mass balance on the absorber and a total mass balance on the absorber together will allow you to solve for the mass flow rates that must be pulled from the absorber and also pulled from the generator. And then finally, energy balances on the absorber, pump, and the generator allow us to calculate the remaining energy flows. So the coefficient of performance, or COP, of this cycle defined in terms of the refrigeration effect divided by the thermal input to the generator can be computed, and the COP under these conditions is only about 0 0.21. So there's various modifications to the cycle that can be implemented in order to improve this value somewhat. Finally, it's worth mentioning that this code can be made much more user-friendly through the diagram window. The diagram window is covered in other videos, but here we will open the diagram window and, and you can see what I mean. You can toggle the diagram window between development and application mode by selecting Control D or just by uh, selecting the diagram window icon here. Um, here it's in development mode, and I know that based on the fact that I can see the toolbar here. And so in development mode, I can um, change the diagram window and manipulate it. So I'm going to paste a picture of the cycle into the window, and this picture will become the graphical user interface that I'm going to use to examine and control the program. So I can add indicators here that show the state points. Here I'm just going to show uh, the temperature at state 1, and I do that by selecting the text tool and then uh, an output variable and finding T1. I can also add controls that actually set the values of the variables in these. So for example, I can add an input variable for Tgen here. Of course, if I'm setting Tgen from the diagram window, then I can't also set it in the equations window. So I have to remove the equation that sets Tgen in ease. So finally, going back to the diagram window, I'm going to add a calculate button and if I put the diagram window now in application mode it becomes my control panel so I can change the generator temperature I can hit the calculate button to obtain a solution and here I can examine the impact on T1 all from the diagram window so obviously I can add more indicators and controls and these diagram windows can actually become quite sophisticated and this leads into another topic which is uh, executable ease programs so this is one of a series of tutorials meant to describe the operation of the Ease software. To get more information about Ease, uh, obtain the software, or access more of these tutorials, uh, please go to the website fchartsoftware.com. These tutorials are excerpted from the book Mastering Ease, which can also be obtained from the FChart software website.